It might not look like much, but it's how Luke Hill gets around. Riding around on a booster board is probably the greatest form of transportation on this campus. While most students stick to walking, some with skateboards have a need for speed. You can go 20 miles an hour down the sidewalks and beat everyone else to class. Whether it's sidewalks or streets, skaters get around quick. But is all of that speed safe? I asked Irving Juarez over at Blue Tile Skateboards the same question, and he says not exactly. If you're going faster than you can run, you know, you're kind of like in a in a bad zone. Irving says it depends on the board you ride. If you ride around Columbia, he recommends a trick board or a long board first that ride a bit slower. That's because if you're on an electric skateboard and you need to stop fast, you know, you're just gonna kind of wipe out. You might wipe out, and a city with traffic might be the last place you'd want to take a tumble. But skateboards are quicker than walking and cheaper than cars. As city traffic engineer Andrew Ritter says, Users other than cars are becoming more and more of a thing. Ditching the car is becoming more common. That's partly because gas prices have shot up more than a dollar in the last year. With these rising gas prices, some people say that in a city like this, if you can help it, why drive? If you don't drive, Columbia traffic officials say to use push buttons and crosswalks to stay safe when crossing the street. And if you're looking to ride, Luke says to take it slow. To learn how to skateboard before you get on an electric one. To stay safe while you skate. In Columbia, Finn Carlin, SGTV News 4.